The MIST3D's database is open. That means it is always possible to add elements in case they aren't available in the online shared catalog, both for coverings or even furnishing items. The process is actually very easy. For adding a tile into the database in the coverings section of the components bar, we find the new item button. In the window that is opened, we must fill in the record data, starting from the item code and item name. If we are dealing with an article from a manufacturer that we do not have yet in the catalog, we must add the company in the list of manufacturers like this. Otherwise, we will find it in the list already available at the bottom. A key step is the format shape definition. In this example, we are handling a square tile. Then let's choose the rectangle shape and type the size 60 by 60. We can choose the finishing effect to be applied at the surface, which can be natural or glossy, as well as the edge and type, sharp or rounded. Loading the image of the tile is very simple too. We shall just reach the folder where we saved the image file and select it. We have already filled all the essential fields, although we can store additional data that we happen to have and that can be useful, such as the type of material, weight, thickness, number of pieces per box, the adoption only for walls or floors, etc. The item has now been added in our local Domus 3D catalog, and it can be immediately used in our projects. We want to bring another example, loading a product that comes with different patterns. It can be a wooden strip with each face marked by different veins, or a marble tile, or even a 17 tile with geometrical decorations. The process is the same we have just seen. The software is able to automatically load all the images related to this article if they have been renamed with the file name, the same for all, followed by at one, at two, at three, and so on. As before, all images are automatically copied into the right database folder. In this example as well, we choose the rectangular format and type the dimension of the two sides, which once again happen to be the same since the tile is squared. If we now open the tab of the article we have just added, we have the confirmation that the images of all the faces have been correctly loaded. There are 16 for this tile and we can see them sliding in the area at the right. The items with more than one face like this one can be very useful as they allow you to create a realistic effect with very little effort. The Mist 3D in fact randomly mixes the different faces. In case we are not satisfied with the effect created by the software, we can always step in with the function Customize Off-Shaded Items and switch to a different image in any position or also rotate the decoration.